you know I've always believed in affordable housing for the inner cities. As a matter of fact, that's what my final paper was on at UA. Really? Hmm. I would love to read that paper. I could send you a copy. Okay. My email address is cwallisdeveloper at gmail.com. I am curious to know how you see us sustaining affordable housing for inner city Jamaica. Well, it can be done. If developers weren't so greedy, we could provide more houses for the poor. You see the current cost of living? It has always been like this. High cost of living, low wages. Exactly. Minimum wage is between what, 9 and 13,000 weekly, which work out to 36 or 52,000 monthly. Match that with the current cost of living, it's almost impossible. So why do you continue to take on inner city housing projects? Yes, I've done my research on you, sir. Impressive. Well, I am trying to reach a compromise with some of these government officials and private sector people to stop thinking major profits. It should be easier for you. After all, your brother is in politics. So just convince him to partner with you on some of these projects. In all fairness to him, he does help where he can, but even politicians have to answer to somebody. I understand that. But how do you continue to be productive if your workforce can't afford That's a question for the government, which I believe you work for. So what about the other colleagues? Why not have a meeting with them and take on major housing projects? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's not how it works in this business. It's a dog eat dog, every man for himself. And most people are in it for the profit. A sizable profit? <laughs> yeah, sizable indeed. But that's how they get to continue other projects with a sizable profit. <laughs> By stressing the pockets of the average citizen? Celine, it is, right? Yes. Let me give you a little insight on how this works. Sometimes we start a project with the little man in mind. But then the big institutions come in, buy the whole project, put an exorbitant mark upon it, and that immediately takes out of the hands or the reach of the average person. So, what about taking on a project from start to finish? and making sure the average man gets it. Well, then you'd have to deal with the issues that come with that community. I mean, you have to share the work evenly with neighboring communities, uh, extortion, theft, gang warfare, the list goes on. And all this is from the same people who you are provide the housing for. So most of my colleagues just focus on uptown. So it sounds to me that you're saying there's no hope then. <laughs> if I felt that way, I wouldn't have one of those same projects right now. It's my biggest headache. But I go see it through. Let me ask you this. Do you speak to the people in the community before you start a project? I speak to the relevant people. Which would be the dons and area leaders, right? Why you know so much? I'm very passionate about this. I've done my research. Maybe if you started engaging the bigger portion of the community, you'd get better results. <laughs> and you believe that the people in the area have more reach, more pull, more say than the done? <laughs> <laughs> 